morning students welcome to all fours e learning botany classes in previous sessions that is in last session we discussed schizocarpic fruits a type of dry fruits right sir now go for the next one what it is aggregate fruits in the previous sessions i told one statement true fruits are of a true fruits i am speaking about true fruits true fruits are of a three types simple fruits aggregate fruits and next one is multiple fruits we completed simple fruits that is fleshy fruits and dry fruits now we are going for the second one that is what sir aggregate fruits what it is sir aggregate fruits right now see this diagram see this diagram see this diagram sir this is a pedicel what is this one sir this is a pedicel stalk of flower pedicel stalk of flower therefore here how many flowers are present sir single flower only one flower is present here only one flower is present only one flower what is this a tip of the pedicel called as sir the tip of the pedicel is called as thalamus the tip of the pedicel is called as what sir thalamus the tip of the pedicel is called as thalamus the tip of the pedicel is called thalamus this is thalamus okay now see this diagram sir in this diagram i am drawing only carpels i am drawing only carpels i am not drawing calyx corolla androecium and gynoecium i am drawing only carpels i am drawing only carpels okay right see here sir this is a carpel sir this is a carpel now you tell me here how many carpels are there many carpels therefore this is multi carpellary gynoecium this is which gynoecium sir multi carpellary gynoecium this is multi carpellary gynoecium for our convenience right i am drawing a ovule in this ovary this is a ovule in the ovary okay right now see here sir here how many carpels are there sir many carpels multi carpellary gynoecium see all these carpels they are free carpels are free so apocarpus gynoecium it is which gynoecium apocarpus gynoecium apocarpus gynoecium okay now listen this statement after fertilization when sir after fertilization after fertilization the stigma falls off what falls off stigma falls off stigma falls off sir after fertilization the style also falls off therefore after fertilization the stigma and style falls off what is left sir ovary each fertilized ovary sir this is a ovary this is a fertilized ovary each fertilized ovary develops into one fruitlet okay therefore each fertilized ovary sir this is a what sir this is a fertilized ovary this is a fertilized ovary sir each fertilized ovary develops into what sir fruit let one fruit let develops into one fruit let it means sir here how many fertilized ovaries are present that many number of fruit lets are present sir if for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sir here seven fertilized ovaries are present how many fruitlets sir seven fruitlets therefore number of fruitlets is equals to number of fertilized ovaries how many fertilized ovaries are there that many number of fruitlets are present okay sir each fertilized ovary develops into a fruitlet for example now all these are what sir fruitlets all these fruitlets are closely aggregated all these fruitlets are closely aggregated on thalamus and forms a single fruit and forms how many fruits single fruit therefore all fruitlets are closely aggregated where 
anthalamus and forms how many fruits single fruit in this diagram how many flowers are there one flower therefore if one flower is present one aggregate fruit therefore number of aggregate fruits is equals to number of flowers number of aggregate fruits is equals to number of flowers right now i am writing the same on the board what sir aggregate fruits this aggregate fruits are developed from multi carpellary apocarpus gynecium of how many flowers single flower yes or no right therefore which fruits sir aggregate fruits aggregate uh, fruits aggregate fruits uh, developed from aggregate fruits developed from where sir developed from multi carpellary multi carpellary apocarpus gynecium apocarpus gynecium apocarpus gynecium of a single flower multi carpellary apocarpus gynecium of a single flower okay therefore aggregate fruit developed from multi carpellary more than one carpel is present apocarpus carpels are free of how many flowers single flower okay next statement what it is each each fertilized ovary each fertilized ovary develops each fertilized ovary develops into a what sir fruit let should be careful each fertilized ovary develops into what sir fruit let each fertilized ovary develops into a fruit let right therefore number of number of what sir fertilized number of uh, fertilized ovaries number of fertilized ovaries is equals to number of what fruit lets i am not saying fruits i am saying fruit lets okay therefore number of fertilized ovaries is equals to number of what sir fruit lets right sir all these fruit lets what happens all this what fruit lets all these uh, fruit lets are closely aggregated closely aggregated closely aggregated where on thalamus on thalamus on thalamus and uh, and forms and forms an aggregate fruit how many aggregate fruit it forms one aggregate fruit okay therefore here one okay flower develops into how many aggregate fruits sir one aggregate fruit is this statement okay right therefore number of aggregate fruits is equals to what sir number of aggregate fruits is equals to number of flowers right now see this statement sir here how many fruitlets are there many fruitlets this group of fruitlets cluster of fruitlets called as aterio a group of fruitlets right a group of fruitlets are cluster of fruitlets called as what sir aterio right group of uh, fruit lets group of fruit lets called as group of fruit lets called as what sir aterio aterio therefore aterio means group of fruit lets based on the type of fruit let okay these aggregate fruits are of different types aterio of akins aterio of berries aterio of droop aterio of follicles therefore right based on the type of fruit let 
these aggregate fruits are of different types right now see based on type of fruitlet based on type of fruitlet these aggregate fruits are of various types aggregate fruits are of uh, various types what are these uh? first one is a uh, etherio of akins what is the first one etherio of akins etherio of akins etherio of akins second one is a uh, etherio Ethereo, right? Ethereo of berries. What is the second one, sir? Ethereo of berries. Third one is a uh, ethereo. Ethereo of a uh, droop. Ethereo of droops. And fourth one is a uh, ethereo. Ethereo of follicles. Ethereo of follicles. Sir, we already read this akins. Akin is a type of dry fruit. Yes or no? Akin is a type of dry fruit. Sir, these berries, they are a type of fleshy fruits. Berries, they are a type of what, sir? Fleshy fruits. They are a type of fleshy fruits. Sir, droop, this is also a type of fleshy fruit. Yes or no? It's a type of fleshy fruit. Sir, follicles, a type of dry fruit. Follicles, a type of which fruit, sir? Dry fruit. Sir, etherio of akins. I am writing examples for etherio of akins. First one is nilambo. What is the first one, sir? Nilambo. Second one is a strawberry. What is the second one? Strawberry. Second one is a strawberry. And third one is rose. What is the third one, sir? Rose. Therefore, Nilambo, Strawberry and Rose, these are examples for Ethereo of Akins. Sir, this Nilambo, in the case of Nilambo, the Thalamus is a spongy. What is a spongy? Thalamus is a spongy. Thalamus. Thalamus is a spongy. What is spongy? Thalamus is a spongy in the case of Nilambo. Go for the second one, Ethereo of what sir berries ethereo of berries example is a uh, anona squamosa anona what sir anona squamosa anona squamosa sir anona squamosa means custard apple anona squamosa means what sir custard apple Another example for ethereo of berries, ethereo of berries, another example I am writing, polyalthia, what is another example sir, polyalthia. Now go for the next one, ethereo of droops, what it is, ethereo of droops, ethereo of droops. Example is blackberry and raspberry, what it is sir, blackberry, blackberry and raspberry raspberry sir this blackberry and raspberry these two right comes under genus rubus r u b u s therefore blackberry and raspberry these two comes under genus they comes under genus what sir rubus they comes under genus rubus. I am speaking about blackberry and uh, raspberry. They comes under genus rubus. Go for the last one. That is ethereo of follicles. Ethereo of follicles example is magnolia. What is the example for ethereo of follicles sir? Magnolia. What is magnolia, right? Go for Anona squamosa. What it is? Anona squamosa. Anona squamosa. Anona squamosa. So just now I told Anona squamosa common name is uh, what sir? Custard apple. What is its common name sir? Custard apple. Sir this Anona squamosa it belongs to Anonaceae family. 
belongs to which family sir belongs to anonaceae family sir in anona squamosa what present sir what are present sir aterio of berries what is the meaning of aterio i told aterio means group of berries yes or no therefore anona squamosa is a aggregate fruit anona squamosa having which fruit aggregate fruit with a group of with a group of berries with a group of what sir berries with a group of berries sir all these berries they are closely placed on thalamus all these berries are closely placed on thalamus and appears like a simple fruit appears like a simple fruit i am speaking about anona squamosa right in anona squamosa right all berries what sir all berries are closely all berries are closely placed closely placed on thalamus closely placed on what sir thalamus and appears like a simple fruit and appears like a which fruit sir simple fruit but is it a simple fruit in anona squamosa no it's a aggregate fruit but appearing like a simple fruit okay now see here sir in anona squamosa there is custard apple take a custard apple and split it vertically split it vertically in the center you are going to see one white structure like this this is thalamus on this thalamus you are going to see many pieces yes or no like this you are going to see many pieces like this you are going to see many pieces do observe this sir outside this is what in color green in color whereas inside this is what in color white in color we are going to eat only this yes or no inside this one black color seed is present one black color seed one black color seed is present only one seed yes or no i am saying this one as a berry what is this one sir this is a berry this is a berry like this how many berries are present on the thalamus many berries group of berries all these berries they are closely placed on thalamus and total fruit appears like a simple fruit but is it a simple fruit in the case of anona squamosa no it's a aggregate fruit sir in anona squamosa what we are eating in anona squamosa what we are eating epicarp mesocarp and endocarp are edible epicarp mesocarp and endocarp are edible sir what are this epicarp mesocarp and endocarp sir there are three layers of pericarp three layers of pericarp they are edible whereas seeds are not edible seeds are not edible seeds are not edible do seeds are edible in anona squamosa no seeds are not edible in the case of anona squamosa sir in the case of polyalthia in the case of polyalthia we came across this polyalthia in califlori califlori development of flowers directly on the older stem califlori sir in this polyalthia berries are free free berries are present what are present sir free berries free berries are present in case of polyalthia with this we completed a uh, aggregate fruits right go for the next one what it is multiple fruits right sir this multiple fruits uh, also called as multiple fruits uh, also called as multiple fruits also called as a compound fruits what they are called as they are called as a compound fruits or composite fruits composite fruits they are also called as a conjugate fruits conjugate fruits they are also called as conjugate fruits 
ones okay therefore multiple fruits also called as compound fruits or composite fruits or conjugate fruits conjugate fruits right sir we are discussing multiple fruits right see here sir all these are flowers what are all these sir flowers okay therefore can i call this one as inflorescence yes sir what is this one this is peduncle what it is peduncle peduncle sir what are all these sir all these are flowers what are all these sir all these are all these are flowers all these are flowers sir flower means gynecium will be yes sir no gynecium made up of carpels carpels sir carpel means it will be having ovary you know after fertilization when after fertilization that fertilized ovary what sir fertilized ovary sir this is a flower this flower contains gynecium a unit of gynecium carpel 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 okay sir that carpel contains ovary yes or no carpel contains what sir ovary after fertilization it means uh, which ovary sir fertilized ovary that fertilized ovary develops into fertilized ovary develops into a fruit fertilized ovary develops into a fruit sir flower with gynecium unit is carpel unit of gynecium carpel in that carpel ovary will be no after fertilization that ovary develops into a fruit after fertilization ovary develops into a fruit after fertilization ovary develops into a fruit observe this statement sir this fruits are developed from one flower or from different flowers sir different flowers now from here one fruit is formed one fruit one fruit one fruit all these fruits are closely associated on peduncle all these fruits are closely associated on peduncle and forms a single fruit and forms a single fruit that fruit is called as multiple fruit therefore multiple fruit is developed from complete inflorescence developed from complete inflorescence is this statement okay therefore which fruits are multiple fruit multiple fruit uh, developed from developed from where sir complete uh, inflorescence it means from one flower group of flowers sir group of flowers is this statement okay therefore multiple fruits developed from complete inflorescence how this multiple fruit is developed just now i told after fertilization after after fertilization after fertilization each fertilized ovary develops develops into a fruit each fertilized ovary it develops into a fruit it means here right number of number of fertilized ovaries number of fertilized ovaries is equals to what sir number of fruits number of fertilized ovaries is equals to number of fruits okay sir all these fruits all these fruits are closely closely what happens all these fruits are closely associated what are closely associated all these fruits are closely associated okay and okay closely associated on what 
closely associated on peduncle this is peduncle right closely associated on peduncle and forms and forms a multiple fruit and forms a multiple fruit forms a multiple fruit sir here how many here how many inflorescences are present one therefore how many multiple fruits one multiple fruit therefore number of inflorescences is equals to number of multiple fruits number of inflorescences is equals to number of multiple fruits okay therefore sir here all fruits are closely associated on what sir peduncle and forms how many multiple fruits one multiple fruit right therefore number of inflorescences is equals to number of multiple fruits okay sir multiple fruit means it is developed from inflorescence i told yes or no sir this multiple fruits they are associated with false fruits multiple fruits are associated with the uh, false fruits what sir multiple fruits multiple fruits are associated with the uh, what sir they are associated with false fruits multiple fruits they are associated with the uh, false fruits sir multiple fruits means they are developed from inflorescence i told yes or no it means based on the type of inflorescence the type of multiple fruit will be okay therefore multiple fruits are of two types based on the type of inflorescence from where they are developed from based on based on type of inflorescence based on type of inflorescence based on type of inflorescence multiple fruits are of how many types two types multiple fruits are developed from inflorescence from which type of inflorescence a multiple fruit is developed from based on that uh, multiple fruits are of two types i am saying first one is a uh, sorosis second one is a uh, cyconus sorosis and a uh, cyconus go for the first one what it is sir sorosis what is the first one sir sorosis sir sorosis is a multiple fruit developed from sorosis it is a multiple fruit right it is a multiple fruit developed from it is a multiple fruit developed from either either spike or spadix or catkin sir sorosis it's a multiple fruit developed either from spike or from spadix or from catkin sir this is spike spadix and catkin these three are racemous inflorescences yes or no these are racemous inflorescences with which flowers sir sessile flowers in racemous inflorescence we read this topic therefore sorosis is developed either from spike or from spadix or from catkin it means developed from racemous inflorescence with which flowers sir sessile flowers right we are discussing sorosis right go for the examples for this sorosis examples for sorosis examples for sorosis okay first one is a first example is pineapple what is the first one sir pineapple pineapple it's not custard apple it's pineapple second one is a jock fruit what is sir jock fruit jock fruit and third one is mulberry what is the third one sir mulberry third one is mulberry go for the first one what it is sir pineapple what it is pineapple pineapple okay i am writing the scientific name of pineapple scientific name of pineapple what it is sir ananas ananas sativus ananas sativus it comes under bromeliaceae family 
comes under which family sir bromeliaceae family comes under bromeliaceae family pineapple ananas sativus is a scientific name it comes under bromeliaceae family sir in the case of pineapple right these are what sir these are leafy bracts these are leafy bracts and these are what sir scaly bracts these are scaly bracts okay sir in case of pineapple what is edible sir in case of pineapple what is edible the main edible part the main edible part right in the case of pineapple is a peduncle what is the main edible part in the case of pineapple sir that is peduncle peduncle is edible along with peduncle right juicy succulent what sir juicy succulent bracts are also edible therefore peduncle and juicy succulent bracts are edible in the case of what sir pineapple in the case of pineapple right go for the second example what it is sir the second example is a jock fruit what is the second example sir jock fruit jock fruit sir the scientific name of jock fruit is a the scientific name of jock fruit is a artocarpus what sir artocarpus integrifolia what is sir artocarpus integrifolia artocarpus integrifolia sir this jock fruit what is the scientific name artocarpus integrifolia is its a scientific name okay sir this jock fruit what is the edible part sir what is edible in the case of jock fruit right uh, succulent succulent uh, perianth lobes succulent perianth lobes are edible in the case of a uh, what sir jock fruit see this is a perianth lobe which is edible this is the perianth lobe which is a what sir edible this is jock fruit this is a perianth lobe that is edible sir in the case of a uh, right uh, jock fruit you are going to see spiny rind spiny rind r i n d sir this is spines what you are going to see on the jock fruit they are nothing but modifications of a stigma it means stigma is modified into spines therefore spiny rind is seen in the case of jock fruit okay now let's understand the statement sir sorosis means developed either from spike or from spadix or from catkin yes or no sir in the case of pineapple in the case of pineapple right uh, the sorosis is developed from spike therefore in the case of what sir pineapple in the case of pineapple right uh, sorosis developed sorosis developed from sorosis what sir sorosis developed from what sir developed from spike which spikes are sterile spike sterile spike it is developed from sterile spike okay whereas in case of jock fruit in case of what sir jock fruit uh, sorosis developed from sorosis developed from where sir spadix developed from spadix jock fruit sorosis is developed from spadix whereas in the case of uh, what sir mulberry in the case of mulberry right sorosis is developed from in case of mulberry what sir sorosis developed from sorosis is developed from where sir it is developed from female catkin it is developed from where sir female catkin female catkin okay this is about a uh, sorosis right multiple fruits are of two types no first one is sorosis and second one is cyconus we completed sorosis now we are going for cyconus sir cyconus this is a multiple fruit developed from hypanthodium inflorescence therefore cyconus is a what multiple fruit it's a multiple fruit uh, developed 
it is a multiple fruta developed from where sir hypanthodium inflorescence hypanthodium inflorescence sir hypanthodium inflorescence is a special type of inflorescence hypanthodium inflorescence it is a what sir it is a special type of inflorescence it is a special type of inflorescence sir cyconus it's a multiple fruit developed from hypanthodium inflorescence hypanthodium is a special type of inflorescence sir here what happens sir here this total what i drawn on the board this is nothing but fleshy peduncle what it is sir it is a fleshy peduncle this fleshy peduncle develops into false fruit this fleshy peduncle develops into what sir it develops into a false fruit develops into a false fruit sir here fertile female flowers are present no what are present sir fertile female flowers are present yes or no right sir in fertile female flowers uh, right this is the ovary what are all these sir ovaries sir each fertilized ovary what sir each fertilized ovary each fertilized ovary each fertilized ovary of fertile female flowers develops develops into a fruit called a keen develops into a fruit called as what sir a keen it means now all these are what a keens all these akins are closely associated on this peduncle and forms a single and forms a single what multiple fruit this multiple fruit is called as a cyconus sir all these are akins all these akins are closely associated on peduncle and forms a single multiple fruit that multiple fruit is called as a cyconus okay go for examples of cyconus number 1 what sir banyan tree and second one is a peepal tree banyan tree and peepal tree sir both banyan tree and peepal tree comes under genus both banyan tree and peepal tree they comes under genus ficus comes under genus what sir ficus with this we completed a right fruits topic right in the next session we will go for the next chapter until then stay home stay safe and keep on learning through alphos e learning thank you